Hi, first grade. We are back for another Scholastic News, and this one is Real Frogs and Toads. So make sure that you have that Scholastic News out in front of you and a pencil, and let's go ahead and learn about some Real Frogs and Toads. We will go ahead and start off with this awesome video titled, It's a Frog. Do you feel what I feel? It's a frog. Frogs come in all different sizes. Some are really big. And some are as small as a fingernail. Some are green or brown, and some are red or blue or yellow. They can have stripes or spots. They can be red with blue legs or green with red eyes. How many colors do you see on this frog? Frogs are part of a group of animals called amphibians. All amphibians live part of their lives in water and part of their lives on land. Frogs start their lives off in water. First, a mother frog lays eggs in water. When the eggs are ready, pop! Out comes a baby frog called a tadpole. Tadpoles don't look much like frogs yet, but they are about to go through a big change called a metamorphosis. Right now, they can swim and they breathe with gills. They never leave the water. Slowly, the tadpole starts to change. First, they grow back legs, then front legs, and their tail shrinks. They also grow lungs so they can breathe air on land. Look, they can hop, hop, hop and live on land like you and me. But metamorphosis isn't the only cool thing about frogs. A frog has an amazing body that helps it to escape from predators like this egret or this snake. Frogs have strong, skinny legs that they use to leap fast and far. They have big eyes right on top of the heads. They can see predators, but predators can't see them. Can you spot the frog? Frogs with colorful skin are often poisonous. Their bright colors warn predators, don't eat me, stay away. What's a frog's favorite snack? Bugs, of course. But some frogs eat worms, or mice, or even other frogs. Whoa, what was that? Frogs have long, sticky tongues, like super glue. That's how they catch their favorite bug snacks. And guess what? If your tongue were as long as a frog's, it would reach down to your belly button. So where can you see one of these fantastic frogs? Well, frogs live in many different places. For some, the wetter, the better. They love rivers, lakes, and ponds. But some live in trees, and others in the dry desert. Whether in land or in water, spotted or striped, Frogs are amazing amphibians. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our scholastic news. Here we go. Real frogs and toads. In Arnold Lobel's book, the characters frog and toad are friends. The book is fiction. What are frogs and toads like in real life? And we have read a frog and toad book which is amazing. So here's a toad and here's a frog. Frogs and toads in real life. As you read, think about how real frogs and toads are different from the characters in this book. 
over here, frog. Do real frogs send letters? In the book, frog sends a letter to toad. In the book, frog sends a letter to toad. In real life, frogs can't send letters, but they have other ways to communicate. They communicate with sound. They can croak, chirp, or peep. Their vocal sac helps them make the sound. The sound sends a message. Right here, it's pointing at the frog's vocal sac. Toad. Do real toads sleep all winter? In the book, toad sleeps all winter. He sleeps in a bed. In real life, toads don't have beds, but some do sleep all winter. Some toads live in places that have cold winters. They dig down into the dirt. The dirt keeps them warm. The toads sleep there all winter. Over here, frog. Do real frogs live near turtles? In the book, frog talks to a turtle by the river. In real life, frogs can't talk, but they do live near turtles. Frogs and turtles both need to live where there's a lot of water. They might live in rivers, ponds, or swamps. If you see a frog, there could be a turtle nearby. And over here, toad. Do real toads wear bathing suits? In the book, toad wears a bathing suit. In real life, toads don't wear bathing suits. They don't need to. Toads have skin that is dry and bumpy. Their skin is also waterproof. It keeps water out. All they need to swim is the skin they're in. Let's go ahead and take a dance break. Dance break. Move like a frog. Swim in the water. Climb a tree. Catch that bug. Now leap. 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 Sit and croak. Freeze. Now take a deep breath in. One, two, three, and let it out. Three, two, one. Now melt to the ground. All right, let's take a look at our last page. It says frog and toad diagrams. Use the diagrams below to answer the questions. Over here is a diagram of frog. And over here's a diagram of the toad. And remember a diagram has labels that point to certain areas on whatever is on the diagram and explains what it is. So right here it's pointing, it says their legs are longer than their body. Right here, smooth, wet skin. And they usually get around by jumping. Over here for the toad, bumpy, dry skin. Their legs are shorter than their body and they usually get around by crawling. Number one, it says frogs have blank skin. Well, let's see, our options are dry, bumpy, or wet. If we take a look right here at the diagram of the frog, it says that it has smooth, wet skin. So what you will go ahead and do is bubble in this circle right here next to the word wet. Awesome. Okay, number two, toads usually get around by crawling, jumping, or swimming. Well, let's take a look right here in this toad diagram. It says they usually get around by crawling. So go ahead and bubble in that circle next to crawling. Number three, a frog's blank are longer than its body, ears, legs, or toes. What do you think? Let's look over here. It says their legs are longer than their body. Go ahead and bubble in that circle next to legs. Okay, this one we'll talk about. I'm not going to write just because it's really difficult for me to write with this drawing tool, but the bonus says, look at the two photos. What is one thing that frogs and toads both have? What do you notice? What do you notice? Well, there's a couple different things, right? They both have legs. They both have eyes. They both have skin. Now, the length of their legs and their type of skin is different and even their eyes are different, but they both have those things, okay? Awesome. All right, first grade, I hope you enjoyed learning about frogs and toads and I hope you have a great day. Bye.